Ugh, man, I really hope this one's correct. Because if not, I'm going to be in some real trouble. I'm trying to find these things. I kind of figured that would be the case. I feel like out of all the major areas in this game, the Rito area is sort of the most generic land-wise. It's just a lot of like green grass and open fields and then, you know, the snowy mountains. Uh, but there's... I feel like there's not a ton of, like, unique architecture to the land around here. So it's probably going to end up being the hardest one to suss out. I don't know why I feel like killing this guy. I just really do. <laughs> You're the worst lookout ever. How did you not see me? Oh, well, did get the call off, though. No, my boomerang. Alright. I think it's time to bust out that sexy Zora longsword. Oh, you cut me off, you bastard. How dare you. <laughs> Stunlocked! You want to have a cyclone battle? <laughs> I'll have a cyclone battle with you. Oh, they're winning the cyclone battle. Ah! Damn you bastards. <laughs> they're so winning. Fine. Ooh. Moving on. Here we go. Give me some good spoils. Eh, it wasn't all that great, but okay. Oh, <laughs> he just turns around like, what? Somebody just shot me in the back with an arrow. Let me just turn around nonchalantly. This is probably going to be something I really don't need. Well, let's look anyway. Hey, actually, that's that's a pretty good pickup. <laughs> Granted, I still don't really need it, but I ain't mad that I got it. All right. Hey, guys, please, I know that I'm leaving a lot of loot behind back there, especially from, like, the Bacoblins that died. I just... I don't care. I don't need it. I'm really only concerned with, like, gems and... High quality weapons at this point. Alright, alright, come on, come on. Seriously? Another freaking Korok? <laughs> How am I finding Koroks at these precise locations? Like, I'm sussing that out on the map and finding the Koroks, but I'm not finding the thing I actually need. That's so funny. I can't even believe that. Wow. Shit, I'm in trouble, guys. Ah. Alright, for this one, I think I actually do need to take some pictures of the images because I'm thinking I'm going to have to refer to them over and over and over again. Damn. I'm already out of ideas for some of these. Well, I guess before I go nuts, I could go up to the top of this mountain. I felt like maybe this was a spot up here, and, uh... It's kind of the last option I have right now. Alright, so we're very close to where we want to be. Uh, interesting. It's just a club sticking out of the ground right there. Gonna leave that guy alone and see if I can't. Oh, that's a that's a way bigger climb than I thought. Jesus, I don't really want to have to use my super jump. Damn, I can't even climb this thing. Wow, this place is tough. 
Ah, man. We really should have came at it from the other direction, I guess. Does that guy see me? Okay. I can't believe I can't even, like, scale this thing like normal. Jeez. Is there a better way to approach this? Not really. Well... If we got up there, maybe we could just glide down. Uh... Alright, let's try it. Oh shit, I see the ring back there! I see the ring back there! Wait, go back! Go back, Link! <laughs> now I don't see the start of these things. Oh, I guess they don't all show up at once, do they? You only really get to see one at a time. Which means that the one we saw before is the first one, but here's another Korok. <laughs> Great. So, it would have been off in that direction somewhere, right? The direction I'm looking right now? Because we were down there at that shrine. Now I can't see it, though. Alright, well, I guess we don't have to be at the top of this peak. There it is. There it is. Alright, so this is where we start. Now, here's my question. Which spot is this on the map? It is, yeah, it's it's pretty much where I thought we were. I just, I took such a dumb roundabout way to get here, because I thought we had to start at the top of that peak. Alright, it doesn't matter. We're here, we're doing this. Now, I need... Let's just keep the Master Sword equipped for now, I guess. And do we want to use our Hylian Shield for this? I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll use this royal shield, because that's fun. Alright, let's see if I can remember how to do this. Also, I'm going to go ahead and plop down a teleportation spot in case I mess this up. Because I don't feel like... Well, there's a shrine right there, so... That doesn't really matter either. Whatever. Let's go. Okay, uh, jump. Here we go. Ring one. Ring two. I don't really remember the controls for this, in terms of like controlling my. Oh shit! Okay, this is gonna be tricksy. I see. Uh, in terms of controlling my speed and whatnot, looks like they're being pretty generous with the time limit, though. So, as long as I don't like screw up the steering too bad, I think we'll be all right. This is sort of a treacherous path, though. Alright, we're still good, we're still good. Oh no, you dick! Oh, you dick. Get away from me. Get away from me. The orbs on the top of the rings act as timers. Oh shit, I might not make this one! Oh, I just barely got it! That was so close. Uh, which way? Which way? Left. Last one. Last one. All right. Yay. Got it on my first try, guys. Despite that Stalfos' best attempt to dick me over, I still made it. <laughs> Feels good. Alright, so this is Kiato's Shrine, and it's called Master of the Orb. It's another one like this. Well... It's not exactly like the last one we did, but it's similar in concept, it looks like. Alright, first things first. Let's take a look around. Let's get our bearings here. We've got the platform down there where we have to deliver the Orb of Destiny. we got a button right here. 
which is going to launch the Orb of Destiny, so we have to hit that at just the right time, it would appear. I'm curious where the chest is going to be. You know there's got to be at least one chest in here. Doesn't look like I have a lot of wiggle room in terms of moving around and exploring places. Well, let's see how high this thing shoots me. Oh, I'm actually supposed to get on this thing. This is a... Okay, there's the chest up there. This is a very... This is very involved. This is... There's more to this than I originally suspected, guys. Um... Okay. Oh, I see. I see. I was like, this thing is on a rail. But I can't move stone. But I can... If I do that. <laughs> Ah, son of a bitch. This is going to be the kind of thing where I have to be standing on top of it when I do it. Am I allowed to do that? I'm not sure I'm allowed to do that. Oh. I'm not sure if I can make the corner of that catch it. There we go. Yep, okay. All right, found the chest. Step one complete. Falcon bow. All right, sweet. Apparently I needed a bow too. That's the first time that's happened in such a long time where I didn't have to fucking play ring around the rosy with my weapons trying to figure out what I wanted to drop. Right. All right, so popping down here. Let's see where this thing goes. Follows the ramp. Ends up going all the way down there. And then it just kind of falls off the edge right there. Okay. So how do we prevent that? There's a switch right over here. This is so elaborate, guys. Look at everything going on here. Ah, that reverses the conveyor belt. Okay. Oh, I see. I see what's going on here. So what we want to do is form a bridge for this orb with these things right here. And then we're going to have to stand on the switch to change the direction of the conveyor belt and get it going to the next part. And it looks like we have to rearrange these as well. That should redirect it just the way we want. It's going to take its damn sweet time, but it'll get there. <laughs> and then the next portion... That'll take it... It's going to fall right there. Right. So we gotta figure out how to get it to the get it across that gap right there. Hmm. All right, hold up. In what ways can we manipulate that thing? We can use stasis, obviously. But I don't see how that's super helpful. What if I stand on it? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that will affect the orientation of it. But again, how is that... Oh, there's water right there. Oh. Okay, so we use stasis to make it stay the orientation that it is. And then we make a bridge with Cryonis. These are gonna have to be just perfect. That might be a little too high. 
How about right about there? I bet you that's just about right. And then we'll need another one. Uh, we're going to have to space these out a little better because we can't quite fit three, but two doesn't cover the whole area. So we're going to have to very delicately space these out in such a way that it, uh, it still rolls over the gaps, but it doesn't stop. I think, I think that'll do it right there. So, here's what we do. Stand on this guy. Switch to stasis. It's going to be a bit of a waiting game. Here it comes. And stasis should last long enough that I can do it pretty much right away, I think. Okay, then we gotta time this out. Just perfect. Yeah, we got this. We got this. As long as we don't screw this up. I think I got it, guys. Ha ha! Look at that. Two points, guys. I miss my calling as an NBA player. <laughs> Fantastic. And that was the only chest. Yeah, confirmed. That was fun. I enjoyed that. <laughs> Wasn't super challenging, but it was really fun to figure that out and then actually, like, uh, execute it. <laughs> super resourceful I am. Everybody knows. And we get our first Meadows emblem. Yep, we know the deal by now. Three emblems open the path. Two remain. Sometimes I still just have to marvel at the beauty of this game, guys. The majesty of it. Unbelievable. So good. Okay, then. So that one right there would be the one that we already got. I wanted to come back here, and I wanted to just take some pictures of this actually because <laughs> I may need to reference these again that's the one that I thought I had twice and then it turned out I really did not oh man there's like greenery and then there's snow at the top and then like a, a canyon right in the middle that should be easy to find especially if I keep in mind the orientation trick these are definitely uh, oriented north and south so bearing that in mind that might make it a little easier. But another thing that I remember, guys, is that we should actually go talk to the people in Rito Village. Specifically the uh, royalty there, the king and queen and whatnot. Or just the king, rather, I guess. Uh, whoever. The, the Rito chieftain guy. Because they will tell us information about where some of these, uh, where, so, where some of these trials are, I believe. Like, the people they sent out to scout the location or whatever, they'll be like, Oh yeah, we, we were hearing reports of some fucked up stuff over here, so we sent a dude to check it out. And uh, we might not even have to refer to the map, we might just be able to find the location straight away once we hear the name of it from him. Which would be super handy. <laughs> There's a Quark over there I got a long time ago. Okay, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and... Super jump this. I think we'll have time to reset it and let it recharge before we do the next boss fight. And I just don't feel like going the long way around this. So, here I am doing this. Rito Village. You know, the other really cool thing about this DLC, guys, is that it gives us an excuse to come back and revisit these areas. Which, there wasn't... A whole metric smack ton of reason to do that after you beat the beast in the main story like occasionally I would go back to certain areas if I wanted to like try and buy something specific or whatever is now ready to roll. but generally speaking we just kind of came and went with uh, these main village areas and it's it's cool to come back to them 
I still maintain that this place is not as cool as the others. Like, when I say that, I'm talking about, like, the size and scope of it. Like, it's just, it feels so small and limited. There's not a lot of great exploration here. I actually do like the design of it simply from a design standpoint. And just the whole, you know, the aesthetic of it. It's, it's a really cool design, like, geometry-wise, but in a game that features exploring so prominently, this place really didn't deliver all that much. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to the king here. Well, where is he? Here he is. This is... Canelli. Champion Descendant, I am happy to answer anything I can. The Flame Dragon? Yeah, we need to... We need to hit all these up. Okay, tell me about Rivali. You're curious about Master Rivali? Hoo-hoo! What perfect timing. We recently found the Diary of Rivali. We were all excited to locate such a personal item of the champions. However, not just anyone has the right to read something of that nature. That's why I left Teba in charge of it, since he so admires Master Rivali. Diary of Rivali? Hoo-hoo! The, hist the historic Diary of Rivali was recently found at the flight range our champion so adored. Teba took the diary to his home for safekeeping. Okay, so it's in Teba's home, which should be in this village, I believe. Tell me about the Flame Dragon. I'm really curious about that. Hoo-hoo! Yeah. So you wish to hear about the Blazing Dragon? Well, you're in luck. A dragon was recently spotted near Tanagar Canyon. That's our destination, guys. Yeah. It's acting a bit odd, so we're concerned it may eventually cause trouble for our village. That is why I, that is why I have asked the village guard, Mosley, to keep a close eye on the creature. And tell me something else. Very non-specific. <laughs> Oh, wow, there's... Okay, there's a lot to do here. Where's Teba? Hoo-hoo, you wish to know where Teba is? A good question. All I know is he has not been in the village lately. He always aspired to be like our champion Rivali, to become a valued warrior for Rito Village. He also harbors the hope that his son, Tullin, will share in his dream of becoming a great warrior like Master Rivali. Ah, yes, perhaps Teba's wife, Saki, knows where he is. If you're curious, Teba's home is right next door to my own humble abode. Okay, so that's where the journal will, will be. And then, uh, Teba's probably at the flight range. Um, let's see, we need to talk about sword? No, no, I was only joking. That sword you have there. That is indeed the sword that seals darkness, is it not? Legend has it that the Hylian champion fought against Ganon with that very sword. Champion Descendant, that sword is a precious gift from your ancestors. You must never let it go. Okay. And then lastly, uh, what do I need for the Great Eagle Bow? I can't remember. The bow I gave you is the finest in the land, crafted in the Rito tradition. The champion Rivale once called it his own. I will not lie, the bow is difficult to handle. No Rito alive is capable of using it to its full potential. That's because y'all are weak. Fortunately, our bowyer... I don't think I've ever heard that word before. <laughs> Hearth knows the bow well. You should talk to him for details. Alright. Uh, shit. I think I forgot the name he told me already. It, it was Tanagar Canyon, right? Tanagar? Does that sound right to you guys? Let's see. It's got to be around here somewhere. Let's look for canyons. Strock Lake. Tanagar Canyon Course. Okay, that's the course. Over here is actual Tanagar Canyon. Okay, so if we compare that to the images, it should be like right around... Isn't this the spot I fucking looked at before? I thought it was. Like, it was, like, right here, right? I must have been in, the, it, it, like, around the right spot, but just not at exactly the right spot. Like, I, I guess I just missed the people there or something. But, yeah, it's, it's around there. Well, okay, maybe not, because Tanagar Canyon goes the whole freaking way up here. Uh, oh, you know what? I think it is closer to around this area. Yeah. Just going off my memory here. Let's delete that. I I want to say it's going to be right around this spot. Uh, like maybe... Or maybe in the canyon itself. It's somewhere close to there. Alright. <laughs> we'll find it, guys. We'll get there. I actually got to sign off for now. Because it is late and I am very tired. When we come back, guys, we'll read uh, the dickhead's journal right there. Should be sitting right in this area. I think. So it was right next door 
Oh yeah, there it is. It's right there. So that's the first thing we'll do when we come back, and then we'll head to Tanagar Canyon and see if we can't get this next trial underway. Thanks as always for watching, guys. Thanks for the support. I love you all. I am Dude Long Couch, and I will catch you guys when we come back. Have a good one.